as we go to the football mad city of Columbus, Ohio, and Keith Jackson. From Ohio Stadium in Columbus, Ohio, today the second-ranked Wolverines of Michigan take on the third-ranked Buckeyes of Ohio State. College football today is brought to you by the Power Tool Division of Rockwell International and by the troubleshooters from Command, Command Hairspray, Command Antiperspirant, the troubleshooters. This week, the United Press International Coaches Poll lists Alabama first, Michigan second, Ohio State third. The Wolverines and the Buckeyes squaring off today for the 71st time. And once again, there is a chance the winner could sit at the top of that final poll and once again win the right to play in the Rose Bowl. And over the last five years, the history is remarkable in this series. Michigan has won 48 games, lost seven, tied one. Ohio State has won 42, lost eight, and tied one. That does not include this year. And look at the scores from the last five games played. And of course, the most memorable is that 10-10 tie of last year. In six of the last seven years, well, Bo Schembechler will be trying to mine a psychological advantage today, but in the long run, he knows you win with players. And Michigan has them. The leader is Dennis Franklin. He's also the most questionable commodity on the field today. Franklin has not been completely healthy for a single game this year. And a week ago against Purdue, he aggravated an ankle sprain that's been bothering him for weeks. He is not 100%. He's heavily taped. But he will play because Dennis Franklin suspects that it was that broken collarbone of his that kept the Wolverines out of the Rose Bowl a year ago. And believe me, no one wants to win this game more desperately than Dennis Franklin. Behind number two outstanding tailback. The starter is Gordon Bell. The backup is Rob Lytle. You haven't heard their names that much, but consider this one statistic. Between them, Bell and Lytle have gained more yardage on the ground than Archie Griffin and his backup Ray Griffin have for Ohio State. I told you a week ago that the best athlete on the Michigan offense was Gil Chapman. He's done nothing to disprove it. He is the wingback he moved over from tailback a year ago. The biggest assignment facing the Michigan defense today is to try to stop Ohio State on the ground. And one guy who thinks they can do it is defensive end Larry Banks. Banks was feeling his oaks earlier this week. He was quoted to the effect that if Archie Griffin is going to get his 100 yards today, he'll have to do it over Larry Banks' dead body. But the Michigan defense is centered around two outstanding linebackers. Steve Strinko, like Franklin, he's not 100%. He has a bad knee and it's heavily taped. His running mate is Greg Dufek, the monster man, and he'll roam all over the field to make tackles today. Those are the Wolverines. As we've told you, they are undefeated and ranked number two in the country. But they are not the team that's favored to win this ball game. That team is Ohio State. And in a moment, we'll be back with a look at the Buckeyes. American sport. Many thought that a heart attack earlier this year would have slowed the King Buckeye down. But events of the past two weeks have made it clear that he's still the same Woody Hayes. He certainly hasn't mellowed where the subject of defeat is concerned. He's been called dictatorial, dogmatic, a tyrant. But earlier this week, my producer Don Smith and I spent some time with some of the Buckeye players. And they spoke... the eye for it. Well, two weeks ago, I stood here and told you about an Ohio State football team that was ranked number one in the country, undefeated, looked almost invincible in every category. I can assure you that the upset loss to Michigan State has by no means impaired the Buckeyes on paper. They are still an awesome football team, especially on offense. And you start with Archie Griffin. The statistics remain incredible. But more importantly, The 
Ohio State University marching band directed by Paul Droste. Now moving into the internationally famous Ohio Strip. And when this happens, everybody in Ohio Stadium comes to their feet, even the people from Michigan. As the word Ohio is spelled out, the man to watch is the person who dots the eye. You'd be amazed the competition that goes on for that job. Here again is Jim. I want to tell you there's emotion here today. We've talked about the players in the glamour position, the ones whose names you're going to be hearing throughout.